Hello, people. Let me kind of arrange this a little bit. There we go. Uh, wait, I'm not centered, am I? Probably not. <sighs> Hello, people, and welcome to my channel again. Um, so, basically, what I'm going to do is now take you on a walk through the woods. Come join me as we take this fantastic adventure together. And what happens, what happens on this adventure, you will be surprised of what you will find. Are you ready to go on an adventure with me? Okay. Pause the video and go grab a pen and paper. Pay I can't talk. Pause the video and go grab a pen and paper. Go do it right now. I'll wait. Oh, wait, I forgot you paused it. Okay, now, um, this is what is called a, a relational psychology test. Okay, and the answers to the questions indicate the relevance Relevant on uh, taking those out, I can't talk. Uh, the answers to these questions indicate the relevance to values that you hold in your personal lives. So let's get to it. So picture yourself walking through the most beautiful forest. Okay. The sun is out. There's a perfect breeze. It's just beautiful. Okay. Now, who are you walking with? Now, if you need to pause the video to write down your answers, do so. Until then, I will keep a slight pause so that you can write your answers down. But think about who are you walking with in the woods? As you continue to walk through the forest, you come across an animal. What kind of animal is it? It could be any animal you can think of. Any animal at all. It could be a little rabbit. It could be a tiger. It could be a bear. Any animal. Maybe another homo sapien. Humans are animals. Yeah. So you approach the animal. What does the animal do? Think about what would that animal do if you approach to it. Would it come near you? Would it run away? You're walking deeper in the woods and you come to a clearing. There's a house at the middle of the clearing. How big is it? Is it fenced in or not? Uh, by meaning of fenced in, like is there like a gate or fence or surrounding the property? In case some of you weren't listening. Okay. You walk up to the door. Okay, my dog's having a seizure moment. Okay. You walk up to the door of the home and you open it just a bit and you see a table. Describe what is on the table. It's your imagination. Okay. You finish looking around the house and you leave the back door. There's a huge lawn in the center of the garden. In the garden, you find a cup. What is the cup made out of? What do you do with the cup? As you walk to the end of the garden, you find yourself a body of water. 
What kind of body of water is it? A lake? A river? A pond? You must cross this water to get home. How wet do you get? Now that we have done gone through this adventure, it is time to, to use these answers. Now, by this time you should have answered uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, about 8 answers, 8 questions should have been answered. So if you missed all 8 questions, go back, watch the video from the beginning and come back here. I'll wait. Okay, now that you have answered all 8 questions, and if you want, they could be number, numerized, whatever. Here is the results of those answers. Are you ready to be prepared, amazed, astonished? The person you are walking with is the most important person in your life. The size of the animal you come across is a rep rep representation of the size of your problems. If your action was more severe, it means you tend to be more aggressive. If it was a peaceful action, then more passive actions uh, towards the animal. So like if you, if, you, if you come to the animal severe, if it was mean, you know, it means you'd be more aggressive. If it was a peaceful interaction, then you're a more passive person. The size of the home represents the size of your ambition. If there is no fence around a home, it means you tend to be more open. If you saw, okay, if what you saw on the table wasn't food, people, or flowers, it indicates some unhappiness. How durable, <coughs> excuse me, how durable is the cup you found? Was it representative, uh, re, re, I can't even read, I'm sorry, I come to the website here. How durable is the cup? How was it, how strong? Senator, okay. Duh, okay. How durable the cup you found was is representative of how strong your relationship is with the person in the first part of the story. Therefore, what you do with it represents of your attitude towards the person. If, like if the cup was made of styrofoam, the person you were with means trash. I'm guessing. However, the cup was made of gold. It ended up being a holy grail cup. The person you were with means a lot to you. The size of the body of water is related to the size of your sexual desire. Sexual drive. Sorry, not desire. The size of the body of water represents the size of your sexual drive and uh, not necessarily with the person you're walking with. And if you become very wet, it indicates that sex is important to you. If it's not wet, it means it's less important. So, I hope you found this enlightening. Like, subscribe, favorite, comment, share it. Uh, copy link, paste it on Twitter it. Copy link, paste it on Facebook it. You know, whatever. But I hope you enjoyed it.